Okay, we keep saying increase peak in spiritual pressure, high in spiritual peak pressure, but also in the opposite, the peak in spiritual pressure can become really low and that could indicate a problem. Okay, let's just look here. Flow is equivalent to proximal airway pressure minus alveolar pressure divided by resistance. If somebody using a flow target and during the inspiratory cycle while the ventilator delivering the target flow, the patient initiated or tried to initiate a breath. What's going to happen? The intrathoracic pressure will drop as we talked right here. The intrathoracic pressure will drop and this will be transmitted into the alveoli. So the alveolar pressure here will drop. Now, because it's a flow target, which means we use it in volume control. The pressure, the proximal airway pressure has to maintain this flow. So the next thing, it will decrease the proximal airway pressure and to keep the flow tight. So that will lead to low peak and spiritual pressure. That's one of the explanation for that. The second explanation, let's bring you here. This is an ET tube and these are the balloon and the airflow only through the tube in and out. If for some reason the air start going, flowing here and then some of it leak backward, the pressure that the ventilator tried to push and create it in the airway now will be definitely less because there is an air leak. So low peak in uh, sorry, a low peak in spiritual pressure or low proximal airway pressure, if I can say, um, it could uh, be an indication of ET tube, what we call cough, cough leak. And because of the cough leak, the pressure will go down. Also, the volumes, tidal volume, will be less because not all the air going here, some of it is leaking back. So if you see low proximal air pressure and tidal volume, the patient is not pulling, not receiving good volumes compared to what he's supposed to or she's supposed to receive, then think of cuff leak and that can be easily tested by the respiratory therapist. Uh, they can easily test if there is a cough leak. Sometimes if you get closer to the patient mouth, you can hear that leak as well. So uh, there is a high uh, proximal airway pressure and there is low proximal airway pressure. So these are the main reason for that. To, I want to add now, all this problem with the proximal airway pressure happen with flow targets which we use mainly we in volume control ventilations if you remember that in pressure target modes of ventilation like pressure control and pressure support this is will be constant so we have no issue the flow will go up and down to maintain this so the proximal airway pressure will be constant throughout the respiratory cycle. So we won't have low or high proximal airway pressure. It will be constant. The changes will be in the flow. So all these problems about peak inspiratory pressure is mainly, actually it happens in volume control, flow targeted ventilation modes of ventilation, which is flow uh, volume control. So one time, sometimes one of the easiest way in to fix very high peak in spiritual pressure is to switch patient from volume control to um, from volume control to pressure control because now you can set directly the proximal airway pressure on the ventilator.